Hi there, um, it's Shimmy. So the first craft that we're gonna make um, on this channel, which is my first video, is we're gonna make um, these coasters um, that are covered with paper and Mod Podge. You guys probably have seen that before. And we're also gonna make these mini notebooks. And I'm gonna put this all in a beautiful basket. Um, I did a craft show a few weeks ago and I did a drawing, you know, to kind of get names of people and kind of get people coming to my booth. And this lady um, won a $50 gift bag. Basket. So when I make gift baskets, I like to mix both um, new things that you buy from the store, but also homemade things and really customize them. So her request was for a pink and purple basket and kind of she wanted like a mix of things inside of it. So um, that's what we're going to make for her. And we're going to start out with these Mod Podge coasters and a notebook. And then I'm going to show you how to put the basket together. So that'll probably be in another video, but um, let's get okay, started. Everyone. Um, so we're going to get started on our um, Mod Podge coasters. I have the coasters here and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let me just bring you down here so you can see what I'm doing. So what we have here is coasters. I found these at like um, Michael's for like a buck. Um, so they were super cheap. And like you got a whole pack of them, but I really don't like the pattern. And like I said, the woman that I'm making this basket for, she really likes pinks and purples. So that's what I hit first. And then I have a sponge brush for putting on my Mod Podge, which is right here. It's just your basic Mod Podge. And then I found this beautiful, 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 move this out of the way, this beautiful piece of paper. And this is what we'll use. Um, to adhere to the coasters okay and I also have this little set they sell these at the dollar store you get three of them but I thought it would be really good to make our notebook so we're also going to Mod Podge this with the decorative paper too, to kind of make a set which is great and I have my trusty paper cutter so let's get started so First, what I'm going to do is move this stuff out of the way here. I'm just going to put it on the floor for a second while I get situated. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to measure how much paper I need for a square. So I'm just going to do it this way so it looks like it's about four inches by four inches. So I don't know if you can see that four inches by four inches. So that's what I'm going to cut my paper to. So let me grab our pretty paper and we're going to take our trusty cutter here and we're going to measure it to four inches. This is a 12 by 12 sheet. So am I good? So we'll just make sure that we line her up four inches and we'll give her size. Okay, now I'm not going to use this paper because it has, you know, a hole and it's not as pretty as the other one. So we're going to make it again and I'm going to actually use this straight edge because I am not such a good measurer. So I'm going to turn this over. Like even when I think like that I have it okay, then it's not. So we're going to do this one. Okay, so I'll make sure that I hold it nice and snug. And actually, I might just go over just a little bit just to make sure that I have it. Okay, and then I'm going to put this down, stable my paper, and give her a cut. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of check and make sure that I didn't do anything goofy, which actually looks... Sorry, I'm doing this outside of the camera, but it looks um, pretty good. So we're going to do four by four. So I'm going to line it up with the four inch line. And we're going to give her a little bit of a cut. And again, I'm just going to go over just a smidge because you can always cut away, but you can't get it back after you cut it. <laughs> so let's do four. A little bit more than four here. Okay, just a little, just a smidge. So I really like this. Okay, so I think I'm going to use um, 
these two because you can really see like the flowers and it's really pretty so that's what I'm going to use okay so we'll get rid of these guys these little pieces of paper and I am going to grab the Mod Podge and my little sponge there and we're going to get started so what I do actually what I'm going to do before that is I'm going to measure this notebook. I usually always do this, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab my notebook, which is really cool. Like you can get this at the dollar store and you get like three of them, which is great. And you know, they wouldn't be so bad, but I just like to add a little something extra. So again, I'm going to measure. So I'm going to measure this guy. So it looks like we are at about three inches by, looks like about four and a half. So three inches width and four and a half length. So three inches. So let me do. Okay, so I'm going to do three inches this way. Actually, I think I should go with this one. This might actually be like the perfect size. Actually, it's pretty darn close. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, this disregarding one works out good. So we'll do that. Oops, and I lost my cutter there. <laughs> Always adventures when you're crafting what you need. Okay, so um, let's just snap it back in. <laughs> okay, so we'll do three inches and we'll go over maybe just a little bit just to be sure. Okay, so we are going to give it a cut. Good, and then we're going to measure. And I'm not too worried about this black part, if you can see that. See the black? See how it's not totally covered? Because I'm going to just like glue some pretty ribbon on that edge. I just think that'll add something pretty. So this is okay. So I'm going to now do the four and a half inches. Okay. So we'll do four and a half right here. And again, I'm going to go over just a little bit more. Four and a half, I mean like not even like a half a centimeter, but I just like to have extra because like I said, I'm not the best paper cutter in the world, so it's better if I just have a fail safe. <laughs> okay, so that is ready to go, and then we're going to make, now we need to make one for the back. So do the same thing, so I'm just going to do my four and a half inches. Okay, and I think actually that's going to be really pretty with both of those together like that. So we'll do that. And I am, I think I'll have to cut some inches, but that will be okay. So we'll kind of put this away for now and then we'll modge podge our posters first. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this baby up. Okay, and I have my coasters here, okay got a little bit of dust on them. They were in my craft storage place. So we're just going to get some Mod Podge out and we're going to give them a dust. Sorry, so you can see what I'm doing here. Just going to give it a dusting of glue here. Just kind of light, like, because you don't want the paper to wrinkle. So I always just do a light coating and then we'll kind of build it up a little bit. So we'll add just a little bit more like that. Okay, and then we're going to stick our paper on there and see, I don't think I got that edge very well. So we're going to grab this edge. There we go. I'm just going to put a little bit more on there. Okay, so I'm going to kind of lay down the paper the way that I want it. So I like it just like that. And I'm going to push it down and make sure that it's kind of lined up. Okay, and I'm just going to smooth her out like that. And these are really cool, you know, because you can go buy like tiles at the hardwood store and all that stuff. But um, 
you know, I figured since I had these and they needed an update, I might as well use them. And they kind of already have, you know, that core bottom, which is cool. So save myself a little bit of work, <laughs> which is always nice. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. So we're just going to run that glue over like so. And it's kind of good because, you know, like her basket's just not going to be filled with, with stuff, you know, that you can buy at the at wherever. It's going to have individual things, you know, that, that, that are just for her. And that's what I love. That's why I love making gift baskets because I think that they should be very individual for the recipient. So I just brush that and I'm just going to smooth her out. Okay. Just like so. Okay, so we're just gonna smooth it out here. Make sure we try to get it pressed down there really good. Okay, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna press this one again, and then we'll come back and press them down. Okay. Then I'm gonna grab my notebooks. Okay. And I think I'm going to use this pretty one as the front because I just think that's pretty. So, again, actually, I wonder if I can make it go over a little bit. So, I think I'm going to kind of match it to the end if you can see it there. So, I'm going to, sorry, there we go. So, I'm going to just match the paper to the end here so I kind of know what when you set it down. We're just going to match the edges so that it lines up and then we'll figure out then we can always cover it if it's not even with the ribbon so I'm just taking my Mod Podge and I'm wiping it off a little bit because it's on there pretty good and we're just going to take this and we're going to lather that baby on there okay and I am going to do some of the edge because my paper goes over a little bit so There we go. Alrighty. So we'll put this right on top. And like I said, I'm just going to line it up. Let me turn it around so you can see better. We're going to line her up just like so and kind of smooth it out. Okay. Like that. Oh, oh shoot. I'm not working quickly enough, am I? <laughs> okay, so we're going to kind of smooth that out a little bit, like so. It's on there pretty darn good. So we'll do that. Okay. Very good. And then we're going to turn over to the back. And you know, like, the thing about crafting is you just have to do it. Like, so many people tell me, oh, you know, you're so creative. But it's just like, you make mistakes and you just... You know, and you learn, and and it's it's not that serious, you know. And you make your own things, and you tweak it a little bit. So, don't be afraid. Like I make mistakes all the time, and and it still turns out great, you know. Um, so sorry. Let me turn this around again, and we'll do. The main thing is that you're just being creative, you know, and you're doing what you love. So. And you're making, you know, gifts of love for people, which is the main thing. So we're going to take that. We're going to smooth her down just like that. Smooth, 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 smooth. Sorry, like I love the videos like with the women that have the beautifully manicured hands. But like I am like a nail biter. So yeah, that ain't going to happen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh goodness, and I used to like try to have fake nails, and yeah, yeah I would bite them off. Acrylic nails. I hate to admit it, but it's true. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Very cool. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm just going to squeeze this down a little bit because it's starting to come up a bit. Okay, so we're just going to squeeze that down a little bit more hopefully I put enough glue on there we're going to do it with this side too alrighty like so okay 
So this is what we have at this stage right now. Now I'm going to let these dry for like 10 minutes and I'll be right back with you. Thank you. Hi everyone, we're back again. So I decided to add one more quick craft um, because I found these, which I forgot that I had. And I think it would be nice just to add clips and we'll have the Mod Podge out. Like I might as well, but what we're going to do is we're going to Mod Podge um, this paper onto the um, clothespins and these are really good um, sometimes I put a magnet on the back of them or you can use them you know just to clip like chocolate chips or something or a bag or um, or even at work like to clip your papers together and it just is pretty you know and it adds a little bit of something so I'm gonna make these really quick so I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick alrighty so again just as we did before we're gonna measure kind of how how wide these are and how thick so it looks like they are I'm sorry I'm going the wrong way here so they're about let's see almost three and a half inches long and they're about a fourth of an inch wide so that's kind of what we're working with here so we need about three What did I just say? Sorry, guys. <laughs> so about three and hmm, a little less than a half inches. So three and a half. So just kind of do it that way. I'm just going to chop that one off, that piece, okay? And then I can kind of just measure it and make sure that it's okay and it, it looks like I'm gonna need can you see that so it's hanging over a little bit here but what I do is because I can't you know I'm not the best cutter as I said before so what I'm gonna do is just mod podge it on there so I'm just gonna take this again and we're going to do another another a little less than a half an inch for all of these so I did three and a half inches there so I'm going to go over to three inches and I have six of these to make so I need like 12 total 12 total sheets so I'm going to do one there and I did three so I'm going to do two and a half and it's okay if they're you know a little wider you can just cut them down. I do that plenty of times because I'm so not the best measurer. So we're just gonna kind of, I'm kind of a go with the flow kind of crafter. So <laughs> okay, so let's do that again. Ready? So now I'm at one inch. Okay. Make sure we get that pretty good. And then I'm going to do a half an inch. All right. And let's see how many strips I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm just going to do four clothespins because, yeah, that's probably all she'll need anyway. So we're just going to do four of these guys. And um, so I'm going to show you how to do that next. So we are going to get rid of these two, these two extra, and we're going to Mod Podge. So again, just like we did before, we take our Mod Podge, which I have heavily overflowed right now. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe some of this off. Okay. Alrighty. And we're going to take it and we're going to just rub it over just like that. And it's really cool because like you can paint these and take them apart and stuff and they're really cool. Like people love getting them as gifts and they're, and you can be so creative. Like there's so many pretty papers and you know, you can like trim the edges with glitter and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, and I'm sure there's lots of videos out there that'll show you how to do that. But I just kind of like them simple. Okay, so we'll take this. 
and I kind of like things like re that are recycled, but like you can see like what it was before. I think that's so cool. Like, so we're going to put these on like that, like so. Okay. You know, and they're pretty good. Just so see, you can see. Sorry, I'll bring it back a little bit so you can see kind of well. But this is how they look. Very cool. Okay, so we're just going to keep repeating that. So we're going to go this one the same exact way, just super, super easy. We're just going to stick it on there like so. Very good. And like so. Oops, I didn't adhere that one very well. So maybe we'll just switch this piece to the other side and on these, it's better to add, you know, a little bit more glue. And I'm just lining up the edges. I don't know if you can see there, but I am lining up the edges of the paper till the end of the clip. And it's okay, like, if it goes over a little bit, because like I said, we can just trim them up. I am not an exact person, so um, I just use scissors. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, and you kind of have to use more than what we used before for our other crafts but so I really like the edge of that paper like it's so pretty so I'm gonna make sure that I put it that way okay and we're just gonna push hard and smooth her out there we go and we'll do just a few more to go guys so we'll do this one and you can like make these for for your family like people love these and it's like one of those practical things that no one like really thinks about you know ever like getting for themselves it's not like you go out and buy like clips for your potato chips or something you know that are decorative like you see those ones in the store and they're all like not so attractive but these are really pretty and you can personalize them and people can use them for a multitude of things which is really cool so we'll take this and again, I like that pretty bottom, so I'm going to do my best to line her up very pretty there. And we're going to smooth her out again. So see, look how pretty that is. Not bad. Bring these back so you can see them a little better. Okay, it's amazing how much, like, Mod Podge the sponge retains. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this here again. I'm going to line her up. Just like so, like that, like so, and we're going to just do that again, like so. So I'm just taking it and brushing it, kind of putting a good amount on there, okay? And then we'll Mod Podge over these, and they're kind of sealed, which is awesome, so. I mean, I wouldn't recommend dunking them in water, but, you know, it does make them last a little longer when you coat them. And I usually, I will coat these probably about two times, maybe three, depending on it. So I do one side, and then I flip, and then I do the other side, and then I flip back to the front side, and then I do the other side. And sometimes I'll even put a little varnish on just to be safe. So as you can see, this is what we have here. So they are really pretty. They are. I hope you can see like the detail of the, the flowers, but they are really pretty. Very good. So, and see how that one's coming up a little bit. So, I'm just gonna add a little bit more glue there, and I kind of like to check them again and kind of make sure because it seems like I never like the edges always need a little bit more glue, and on the bottoms too. I like to really check and make sure. See how that one's like coming up. See, flop, flop, not good. <laughs> so, so we'll just take that and we'll go like that. Very good. Okay, so, and I think the bottoms are okay. Like maybe that one could use just a little bit more there, but we'll check them just to be sure. Better safe than sorry, as they say. Okay, so. It's okay, I think. And sometimes the paper bubbles a little bit, so you just have to press it down like 
really good. Get it here and there really good. Okay, guys, so this was just a quick little one, and we're going to add these now to our project. So um, they're just little clips, pretty clips that we made. No, sorry. That, um, that she could just clip on bags and stuff. So it's really cool. So they're super cute. So we're going to let these dry again for 15 minutes, just like we let our other stuff dry. And, um, and I will be back with you in just a second. Thank you. Okay, everyone. So we're back. So um, I've let these dry for about 15 minutes. So these are our beautiful coasters that we just made. So in our notebook... And then we also have these pretty clips too that we made. So um, we're gonna mod podge these, and I'm gonna show you how to how to finish them up. And for this one, you know, I said that I was gonna put a ribbon on, but I kind of like the black. I think that's kind of cool. Like it just has that edge of detail. So I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna put a ribbon. If I do, I will show you. And it's really easy. You just take a bead of hot glue and just put it down there, and you know. And that would be pretty, but sometimes um, I don't like to embellish so much. So, okay, so let's get started here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Mod Podge again. Alrighty, and we are going to Mod Podge this, but you know what I just thought about? Before we do that, you see how I have those edges there? I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just chop around. Just like that, just to kind of give it a little bit of, and you know the Mod Podge will hard on top, and I can really get in there good, but just so that we can kind of get the shape right. Okay, so felt like I was cutting through something I wasn't supposed to, so we'll do that. Okay, here we go. And we'll just press these down again. All right, and just want to make sure that there's not any lifting. Like this one's lifted a little bit. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to add just a little bit of more Mod Podge. Just to kind of ease her out here. Because yeah, I want it to be pretty well sealed and adhered to the top. So there we go. So we're going to do the same thing with this one. And I have some on my finger. I'm just going to smooth it out on top of the paper foil. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of take this and give her a chop. Round out those corners so they match with the coasters. And this one doesn't have much hanging over, so maybe just a little bit. So we'll just give it a little chop. Same thing with this one. Just a little one, okay? And then we're going to take our Mod Podge. We're going to take our Mod Podge. And, sorry, that was the mailman. <laughs> and we're going to just mod it over. So I just like to make nice, even, like, straps or streaks, I guess, of a Mod Podge. I just do one layer just like that and you know what I probably should have newspaper for this but it'll be okay it's washable after all so we'll take this one and we'll do the same thing so we're just gonna brush 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 it down so just nice even streaks just like that Alrighty, just like that. And I do like to get the edges just so they can be sealed a little bit too with the Mod Podge. Kind of helps the paper not to come up. So, and I mean, if you wanted to, you could have painted these like a different color and stuff. So, and that's totally up to you what you want to do. So, this one has a little bit left over. So, we're just going to do that. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And, um, I'm gonna varnish these too, you know, so they'll, so they won't completely fall apart. You know, if she puts like some like a cup on them or something. So 
There we go. So see, that's kind of cool, right? So I'm going to do that. So we're just going to kind of do that, just like that. Right. Oops. So I have my trusty notebook here. I'm just going to smooth her down. And I think I'm going to let this dry just for a little longer because it's starting to come up a little bit. And I don't want to ruin all my hard work. But these clips should be nice and ready to go. So as I said before, we're going to do one side first. Right? So there's one. I'm going to put that side up so I know that I notch potch that side. Okay, so we'll do that one. And like for these, I just like notch potch over them and then I cut them at the end. So I'll show you how I do that. So I do that. You see, I have a little bit of lifting right there. So I'm just going to kind of push it down a little bit. Like I said, with the wood, it's a little harder, so sometimes I'll just get a brush and just brush it in there, but it should be fine. I think I got it in there enough. Okay, so, sorry, let me lower it so you can see what the heck I'm doing. Okay. So we're just brushing it, brushing it, brushing it all the way the length of the paper clip. And we're going to brush this one too. It's lifting a little bit. So again, I'm going to just do that and this. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. So we know that this side is done. This one's really leveling. Okay, so I'm just going to lift it up actually because I don't want it to bubble like that. Okay, so we're just going to smooth it down a little bit. Okay, as you can see, it just smooths it down a bit. Okay, so. Now we're going to work with this. We're going to do the back cover first because since this front was being a little stubborn and it still kind of is. So we'll just kind of let it hang out. Okay. Okay. Just going to kind of smooth it over. Okay, I'm going to just smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. Okay, so I'm going to do the back first, as I said. So we're going to take it and we're just going to notch podge it too. So we'll just do that. Notch, notch, podge, podge. And that will give that first side that came up a little bit, a little bit more time. I should have put more notch podge down. So lesson learned okay so we'll do that like so yeah and like what a great thing like to ha just have in your pocket like especially like when you're a crafter or creative person or just a person in general like there's so many things that you see that you just want to jot down you know so just this is just an easy idea you know and you'll always have something so that you can do it so so now um, all I'm going to do is wait for these to dry and I'm going to do a couple more coats and I will come back um, and show you how I have done it. Be done. So I will show you the end result. Thanks for watching.